Okay, so weird place to start, but whatever. Um, Y'all don't know me yet. It's Tony. This is my truck. It's a 96 Tacoma 4x4. And we are playing around with 33s today. So, bought it from the previous owner. Had these 31 by 10 and a half by 15. Pretty stock affair for what you get on this thing. Um, and bonus came. So, doesn't that? Yes, let's figure this out. So, um, things we're looking at. That. Kind of close. Um, something to know. There is another lift coming. It's already got some kind of lift on there. Nothing special or fancy. Some kind of rancho. I don't know. Whatever. Old Man Emu. Three inch. Coming a couple weeks. So I'm guessing we'll get a little bit more space than that. But we're going to see what we can do about knocking some of this metal out of the way. Okay, so let's take a close look. So we've got some seam here, and if I feel on the back side, it's roughly level with this surface. So we could get all of that space clearance back if we just pounded it flat. Um, it comes a little closer to the tire out here. So I think the best I'm going to be able to do is pound that thing down, maybe grind down it a bit. But I think we can make kind of a smooth transition to here and knock some of the sharp edge off of that. Then uh, that'll probably be about the best we're going to be able to do from a clearance perspective without messing with the fender, which I really don't want to cut into the outer, outer body at all. So I guess uh, time to get to work. Okay, so, tire out of the way, you can see a good bit bigger than the original ones. Uh, we got some space to work. Jack stand, seems alright. Felt a little weird for a moment, but I think we're good. Uh, axle's probably going to need some love at some point. But, this is what we're working on today, so we'll clean this up a little bit and then beat on it some and see where we go. Okay, so we've cleaned up a little bit, put some terrible harsh flashlight on it, which isn't helping you guys at all. Uh, some persuaders of various magnitude, we'll see what's needed. So coming back around to this, the goal, knock as much of that back as possible so that there's more room for the tires, for the bumping and the bumping and the bumping, because that's what we do with the trucks. All right, here we go. Well, one nice thing about the cold is you don't feel that stuff quite so much. Eh, it'll heal. Anyway, looks like we made some room for a bigger tire, so let's slap that thing up in here and see what it looks like now. Alright, so looks like we got a good deal more clearance. Uh, if I could pull the springs off easily, we'd be able to put the suspension through its motion, but um, that doesn't look like a thing I can do with what I got here. So I'm going to fire the truck up and we'll run it through its range of motion on the steering real quick.
Uh, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Um, this tab here is used to mount the inner liner and I'm guessing it's probably in danger of getting smashed. Um, but we'll see. This is just a test fitting. I'm going to pull this back off. We'll hit that with some paint so we don't start any rust in. And then we'll hit the other side and later on when the rest of the wheels and tires and suspension and all that stuff is here we'll put it all together and hope that we don't rub. So, my buddy Pikachu is going to help us out with the rest of this. Slinging a little too much blood. <laughs> Alright, um, so, my can of rust -Oleum here says I should only spray if it's between 50 and something higher than 50. And it's 19 out there today. So, I'm probably not going to sue anybody if this doesn't work out all that well. Probably need to come back and hit it up again later, but... Doing it anyway, because, I don't know, it seems like a good thing to do. Okay, so we got to the place where we get to bash on things a little quicker this time. That's the way it goes. You do one side, you figure out how to do it, then you go do the other side. You just do it. Um, there's some sacrificial fasteners in here for that inner fender liner, so i got to remember to get some of those ordered up. But we're going to do the same thing over here we did on the other side, which is bash that pinch weld right up in here, flat that way, so that when I'm wheeling, if the tire hits over there, it's not grabbing on anything jagged and sharp, and hopefully we're not hitting at all. We're going to try doing the bashing this time outside of town laps. Let's see if that's more interesting. It'll certainly be louder.
this guy. It's a, it's a no harm, no foul situation there. Let's see how we're doing. that up a little bit before we hit it with paint. <laughs> Temperature range. Oh, yeah. That will probably be okay. Okay, well, that's uh, Saturday in the garage, test fitting the 33s, pounding back a little bit of metal for some clearance, and we still got some, the rest of the tires are on back order. I ordered five, two of them came in, so, uh, and I also ordered an additional factory wheel, so I'd have a full-size spare. So that's how I'm able to have one fully mounted big tire stock wheel so when the other tires come in I'm gonna put them on these wheels but these wheels look like shit especially compared to that thing so I don't know if there's any amount of elbow grease that makes that look like that again and if there is I don't know if I'm willing to put it in huh powder coating, painting, I don't know, we're going to do something, that's not okay. So, that's happening out there, and the more of that that happens, the less likely we get this thing back in the garage without heroics. So we're going to wrap this up. Uh, one of the things that we didn't talk about, but it's on the agenda today, is correct broken vent thing with ta-da not broken but weirdly faded so yeah whatever I'm considering it an upgrade we're gonna fix this and job done so we have real live vents just like a grown-up should have in their car there we go